My name is Susan Gorfanek and I'm a Professor of Offshore Geotechnical Engineering uh, in the Faculty of Engineering and Physical Sciences at the University of Southampton and one of the Deputy Directors of the Southampton Marine and Maritime Institute. And I hold a Royal Academy of Engineering Chair in Emerging Technologies for Intelligent and Resilient Ocean Engineering. And my research addresses technology gaps along the engineered life cycle of ocean infrastructure. So for example, offshore wind turbines from new ways of characterizing the seabed to derive the parameters needed for engineering design through developing new mooring and anchoring systems to hold infrastructure in place in the oceans and new sensing and monitoring and living design techniques for assessing infrastructure throughout its design life uh, and at the end of uh, its engineered life. My research particularly uh, focuses on uh, increasing the efficiency of engineering processes and design to enable the upscaling of offshore uh, infrastructure for renewable energy uh, generation to, to meet uh, the targets we have for decarbonisation, but also to uh, better understand the impacts of our interventions in the ocean so we can make informed decisions going forward with ocean engineering. So my engagement with policymakers ranges from responding to calls for evidence or um, from government inquiries and consultations, to taking part in events and roundtables with uh, government agencies and uh, other policy makers, or uh, developing relationships with policy makers or government agencies to, to get involved in research projects. In terms of responding to calls for evidence, I have uh, responded to uh, a consultation from the Department of Business, Energy and Industrial Strategy, or BAES, uh, on the potential for marine energy projects in Great Britain, and also to the Environmental Audit Committee uh, on technological innovations for climate change for offshore wind. And in both these cases, I focused on the role of emerging technologies in uh, providing those uh, efficiencies in engineering design and processes to provide the necessary cost reductions to upscale offshore renewables, to uh, provide the necessary renewable energy generation to have a meaningful impact on carbon emissions, uh, but also the use of emerging technologies for us to better understand the impact of our interventions in the ocean to help us make uh, the right and better decisions in the future going forward. So in terms of uh, participating in events and round tables, uh, for example, I took part in a, a panel discussion and debate organised by the Foundation for Science and Technology on uh, the, the pathway for innovation in implementing the, the government's maritime strategy. And the Department for Transport Director of Maritime uh, was also on the panel along with a couple of uh, business leaders in the sector and the audience comprised a range of policy makers and policy influencers from parliament and from government agencies, from business, uh, from NGOs and from the research community. More locally I have uh, participated in roundtables with the Southampton City Council and local leaders uh, to develop an action plan uh, to shape Southampton's international marine role. And in terms of developing relationships with policymakers for research, I have uh, developed these on multiple scales from bilateral uh, arrangements with individual stakeholders to address specific challenges through to multilateral, multidisciplinary and cross-sector uh, consortia, such as through the Trustworthy Autonomous Systems Hub, which is led by the University of Southampton. Working in offshore engineering and renewables, there are multiple opportunities for uh, policy uh, engagement and impact. Um, particularly, my research uh, supports the evidence base that will uh, go to uh, underpin those policies that will shape uh, our future interactions and developments in the oceans for, for renewable offshore energy uh, generation. So for offshore engineering processes and design methods to be easily taken up by um, operators uh, and those involved in ocean engineering, uh, they need to be encapsulated into international uh, standards. And so raising awareness around the, the research that is coming out and the importance uh, to society and the economy and the environment is really an important step in embedding those processes and design methods into uh, the international standards so that they can be used for engineering design.
So public policy at Southampton has particularly uh, supported my research by uh, bringing opportunities to my attention uh, that are relevant to my research, such as the inquiries or the consultations uh, to submit evidence to, or workshops and events taking place around particular strategies, for example. Public Policy Southampton have also been very uh, supportive in building and nurturing relationships with policymakers and policy influencers in order to get involved in research projects. So if you are thinking of getting involved in uh, policy impact or uh, want to, then just get in touch with Public Policy Southampton. They have a, a range of experts who can help you in all uh, manner of, of things. And you can start off uh, with something simple and quite low risk by providing written evidence to an inquiry. So there's the opportunity to shape this with the support of the public policy team uh, before you submit it. And then you can build up uh, to more immediate and uh, extensive interactions with uh, when your confidence uh, grows, such as taking part in panel uh, discussions where of course it's an immediate dialogue with the policy makers or the policy influencers. And if you are very experienced with uh, uh, policy engagement, then also get in touch with Public Policy Southampton because they can use your expertise to share with other researchers across the university and also to, to amplify and highlight your own policy impact. Mm -hmm.